Okay, so right under the diaphragm, in between the liver, is the falciform ligament. And then this whole thing is the liver. Okay, so this is the left lateral. This is the left medial. This is the quadrate lobe. This is the right medial. And then underneath are these two lobes, which are both the right lateral. And then finally, this smaller lobe is called the caudate lobe. I jacked up one first, so, and that's the side that has And then so yeah, this little way, thing, I don't know if you can see way. it. But this is where the artery, is the gallbladder. This is the renal. The shovel, that green the thing. Because the veins are yeah. Yeah. And this, and this is the spleen. Is the, does the renal artery go through the kidney? Oh, sorry, you guys are recording. It's okay. It's okay. You're fine. Um, it's okay. And then, so, right in the curve of the duodenum the only thing I is the pancreas, it. and it looks like this. Ours is just detached. Um, okay, so this is the stomach, and it has sections, so... Right, and when you lift the liver up, you can see the esophagus. And right when it attaches to the stomach is the lower esophageal sphincter. And then right below the lower esophageal sphincter is the cardiac region. And then this part is the fundus. Um, the main part is the body. And then this area right here is the pylorus. And then going down into the small intestine, this is the pylorus, pyloric sphincter. And then finally, when you pull it, this is the lesser curvature. And then this is the greater curvature. And then when you open it up, the curves inside are called the rugae. Okay, so on from the stomach is the small intestine. So right when it, um, the pyloric sphincter, this is the duodenum. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and then this main part, the whole thing is the jejunum. In the small intestine, this membrane-like thing with the blood vessels, this is the mesentery. And then let me find the large intestine. Okay, so this is where the large intestine starts. Um, this is part of the small intestine, so this is the ileum. And then this right here is the cecum of the large intestine. And on our cat, our large intestine is pretty short for the ascending colon. So, um, so this is the ascending. And then this is a transverse colon. Right. Transverse, and then descending, and then this is the sigmoid colon down here, and then in here, right, like it's down there. It is that's the rectum. It's inside, and then okay. So onto the kidneys. So this is one of the kidneys. Um, this is the renal vein, and then right underneath it, let me, let me get it. This is the renal artery, and then when you open the kidney up, let's see, okay, um, the middle part is the renal medulla, and then the outside rim is the renal cortex. Okay, and then from the kidneys, um, this is the ureter, and that goes to the urinary bladder, which is this thing. And um, our cat is a female, and she is not spayed, so she has all her organs. Um, okay. So right here, this is the uterine horn. It's kind of hard to see. Like right here. And then up here, um, this is the ovary. And then right next to the ovary is the fallopian tubes. And then it's underneath the urinary bladder. This is right here. This is the uterus. And then finally, the vagina is um, above the rectum. If you look that way, it's right 
kind of right here. Thank you.